Yo, 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 what's up? Today we're gonna to be discussing something that doesn't happen very often here inside of Brawl Stars. A juicy update Easter egg so blatant and obvious coming way in advance, in my opinion, that alone is disguising its true intentions. Long before this last update came out, we knew masteries were coming with an Easter egg given in the Brawlies, but I think there is much, much more to this Easter egg or sneak peek than just the official mastery sneak peek. Already more than two months ago at this point, the second ever Brawlies aired, bringing an amazing event, but on top of that, one of the biggest and obvious update Easter eggs that we've gotten ever in Brawl Stars. With the release of this brand new update, we were given Masteries. Right now here, we technically have four different tiers of Masteries, which each of them have three different ranks within them, besides one which is this wood rank here at the end, the zero rank. But on top of that, we have Bronze, silver and capping at gold three at 24,800 mastery points. What we saw at the very end of the Brawly sneak peek here when it comes to masteries in the game is far different than what we are seeing in game. Now, since the masteries released, like I've said before, really no one has been discussing this. A handful of individuals or handful of discussions have popped up, but not so much as to allow the majority of the Brawl Stars community to be aware of a discussion at all, which is, of course, why I'm making this video here today. Some of the handful of discussions that I've been seeing thus far is that they may have made some changes to the masteries and their design. Seeing that we got this sneak peek so far in advance before the update dropped, it makes a ton of sense for them to make some changes to the actual designs themselves. But knowing Brawl Stars and the inherent potential of masteries, I think there is much more to this sneak peek than we originally thought it was for. Instead of it just being a simple mastery sneak peek as I mentioned in the intro I believe that this is a two-parter Easter egg here not only giving us that info that masteries would come to the game but also sneak peeking more ranks than what we already have it's almost surprising that not so many people are discussing this seeing that the ranks resemble other features in the game that we have already quite one for one we have wood bronze silver and gold here which is literally the exact same as the trophy ranks that we've had in in Brawl Stars for such a long time now. We have wood, bronze here, silver, and gold. Not only are the ranks the exact same, but they also copy the same exact template where it goes up to three different tiers. Almost as if this sneak peek is just picking up where the masteries ended in this update. With the trophy ranks right after gold, we have the next rank being diamond here. And then after diamond, we have the purple tier. Then we have red, which was skipped in the Easter egg. And then finally, resembling the Shelly tier we have here at 10,000 trophies. If we needed even more evidence than what we already have in the game just from context clues, I think the whole nature of the mastery system and the point collection process also does a great job in confirming future ranks. Seeing that you never lose mastery points once you obtain them, it works the exact same way as trophy ranks here in the game. Of course, you can lose trophies, but once you hit a particular rank, you will never lose that rank that you you once got to. So as time goes on, as much as 24,800 mastery points looks, people will begin to reach these ranks, which of course will give rise to the necessary new ranks that people will want to strive for, much like we've seen in past changes to trophy ranks, additional ranks being added to the game. I would have to say this is one of the easiest speculations that can be made right now when it comes to future updates. I think the Brawl Stars dev team did such an amazing job implementing masteries, giving them a significant layup for future updates, allowing them in the future to add quite a big update implementation, a new mastery rank once people start grinding throughout these tiers. But then it begs the question, if more mastery ranks were to come to the game, how would that look? We are only a minuscule way into the already existing ranks that we have in correlation with the trophies. If they would continue this track the way it's organized now, they would need three blue ranks, three purple ranks, 
three red ranks. And then it's important not to forget that we also have additional ranks past 10,000 trophies, different color variations of that same design. We got this lighter purple one. We got the red one here as well. So truly the potential for masteries and its track to continue are pretty dang wild when looking at the different ranks that we already have in the game in correlation to the trophy road. Where it stands right now, it's kind of hard to say if it will ever make it that far, seeing that we're already getting into some flex worthy items here in the gold tier. If they would add three additional ranks for every tier past gold here for the mastery track, it's kind of hard to identify what they would even put in those places if we are getting these flex worthy things right here. They've kind of opened themselves up to some crazy potentials here when it comes to bigger and bigger things. If you look at it at face value, the flex worthy things that we've gotten from this gold tier masteries, it's a pin, a profile icon, and a title next to your player card. Things don't have to be incredibly fancy to be a flex worthy thing. It could be the simplest thing. All that really takes is the acknowledgement of how long it takes to actually get that thing for it to be flex worthy. But man, I've already seen some pretty awesome ideas and it makes me really excited for the future of masteries when or if new ranks do come to the game. I've seen some really awesome ideas for skins on particular brawlers, like a variation to the true silver and true gold skins, maybe like a true mythic. I've seen like galaxy skins where they have like a really cool moving effect to them in game. And there's just way, way more things that could come here if the end thing right now with the gold tier masteries is just a name. I could see other exclusive cool pins for the characters, maybe another title for each brawler in the future. There could be a lot of different things. It's an open book for the Brawl Stars dev team here moving forward, which is really, really exciting. If you guys do want to see more awesome ideas in the realm of masteries, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I could make a dedicated video on it for sure. We have some really great stuff already out there. For example, Pineapple here introducing mastery rewards actually before masteries were even implemented here. Him jumping to the conclusion to what we discussed earlier in the video that it would just make sense to have mastery ranks for the already existing ranks that we have in the game. And you can see some of the ideas here for the flex worthy things such as different skins that would resemble the true gold and silver ones, but different color variations. How about a gilded pin pack, dude? Oh my gosh. But outside of the future ranks, there's also other amazing ideas just in the realm of masteries here, much like Pineapple bringing forward a mastery leaderboard idea, which would be phenomenal in the game. I've heard several pro players bringing up this concept that it's quite strange that we don't have a leaderboard for the mastery ranks here. So much potential with masteries, as I said before. But the final thing that I want to bring up here with this topic is kind of my worry or anxiety levels when it comes to future tiers based on the points <laughs> that it would take to get there. To put it lightly, there is a significant jump when it comes to higher ranks with the already existing masteries. From silver to gold alone, it is doubled. And then it just gets kind of nutty here. The discrepancy between silver three and gold three, <laughs> it's almost 20,000 mastery points. So if they would continue this ramping up in mastery points throughout the different tiers that would come to the game, it would be quite the time commitment to go for those future masteries if they do come. So we'll have to see what they do on that note. But you know, hey, if things are really crazy in points, that just means that the rewards are going to be much more sought after and cool and flex worthy, where it's not so much as a thing where you have to do it right at this tier where things start to get wild. They're just flex worthy things. Most people can just feel fine stopping at silver three because they've gotten all the progression. Once you get to this realm, it's just solely based on how much you enjoy the brawler and how much you want these particular things. So if new ranks do come and point totals get wild here in the game, it shouldn't be something that's complained about or anything like that, seeing that it's not completely necessary when it comes to progress, where the difficulty climb is just grinding, but it gives that feel almost as if you're going for like a rank 35 here in the game. It gets so, so much harder as you get to those higher ranks. I think it's also necessary to get much, much more difficult when you get to the higher ranks in masteries. But nonetheless, it is a very exciting aspect within Brawl Stars to speculate upon. I think masteries have so much potential in the future and will make for some really exciting updates in the future, just adding to the really awesome content that would be 
see in those here. But yeah, of course, be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about what we discussed here in this episode. Masteries, in my opinion, have been one of the coolest implementations in a while, and I'm just really excited about the future of Brawl Stars. But yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it, and we will see you all in the next one. Adios, and take care. Whew.